Welcome to EMDR in Aider. This website is designed to help people to be able to use EMDR on their own. Before we go too far, we'll do the quick site disclaimer, which this site is an EMDR service intended for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. The information provided on this service should not be used for diagnosing, treating any medical health condition. If you think you may have a mental health condition, please contact a licensed mental health professional for an evaluation and appropriate treatment. By using this online EMDR service, you understand and agree that neither the content providers nor the service provider can be held liable for any claims, damages, or losses resulting from your use of this service. You also understand that the content provided is not intended to be medical advice and should not be used as such. You further agree to indemnify the content providers and the service provider from any and all claims, damages, or losses arising from your use of this service. The online EMDR service is provided as on an as-is basis and without any warranties expressed or implied. The content providers and the service provider disclaim all warranties, including the implied warranties of merchantability and fitness for any particular purpose. The content providers and the service provider do not warrant that the service will be uninterrupted, error-free, or free from viruses or other harmful components. So, Hopefully there's none in those types of things. If you enjoy this online EMDR service and wish to support it, you may provide a non-tax exempt donation. However, such donations are voluntary and do not create any obligation or liability on the part of the content providers of the service provider. The easiest way to make a donation is to use this QR code and use your camera phone to go to this QR code, or you can use your mouse and click on the link itself and any donations are appreciated greatly. Thank you very much. In this session, we will work on going to calm, or what I call go to calm, some people call a safe space, and this is the most important skill in EMDR. Before going into the other instructions used to help yourself, you must first be able to go to calm. This means to get completely relaxed with your mind at ease. Learn to relax and be in a calm state physically and mentally. You must be able to get to a go to calm state while performing the eye movements and keeping the head still only moving the eyes all the way from side to side, left to right. EMVR therapy involves first creating a safe and calm environment for you to have a clear mental home base. From here forward, I will call that your go to calm. This first exercise will determine if EMDR will work for you and is the key for going into part two below on how to process issues. Getting everything set up for success. Get situated in a comfortable chair or spot in front of the computer screen. Go to the website that I have up on the screen, which is at dtaconcepts.com slash EMDR with all capital letters, or you can go to the website by going to emdrader.com Position yourself in the screen so that while sitting comfortably the screen fills your entire vision. The goal being that while you are keeping your head still and in the center pointing forward looking at the screen you can move your eyes physically all the way to the left and all the way to the right without moving your head 
and still are able to view the screen. So if you're using a tablet, that may mean that you hold it very close to your face. When you're ready, then click the Start button on the screen, and the image will move from the left to the right. Keeping your head still, follow the image with your eyes and try to keep up with the image movements. You should have the speed set fast enough so that you're just able to follow the image with your eyes. The settings may change based off the system being worked upon. When you want to stop the image from moving, you can hit the spacebar on the keyboard or tap the screen if using a tablet and holding it close in front of your eyes. If it's too fast, change the speed of the image so that you can keep up with the movements. So here I'm pressing the start button and I'm checking to see that I can move correctly. I've already been situated in my chair. Now if that's too fast, I can slow it down by changing the speed. Okay, now if it's too slow, which this is way too slow by the way, um, then you want to change it to be faster again. There again, it depends on your system. And you want it moving fast enough that you can keep up with it, but it's not too struggling to keep up and it's not too easy to keep up. So kind of in the middle there. In addition to changing the speed, if you want to, you can change to use a different image type. Here's this ball, which I can move with the keyboard down or up. I can make it bigger or smaller. That's kind of what that looks like. If you want to change the color, you can change the color to pretty much any color you can think of. Um, a lot of people that I've worked with prefer using this vertical bar. And now with the settings correct, um, make note of these settings and save them. You can save the settings by clicking the save button for your computer. Um, or your device that you're using. And then when you log back into it, it should try to start it up like that for you. Uh, the other thing you can do is, is just write it down somewhere so that you can reset it manually if you ever need to. Also recall that if you want to, you can have the sound on as well as if you're using a good set of headphones so that you can hear the beeps and they should coincide with the movement and actually dinging on the left or right as the bar hits that side as well. If it's hitting one side and you hear it on the other ear, then that means you need to flip your headphones around. So now we're going to work on seeing if you can go to calm. And there's two different methods that I like to use and that people have used successfully that I've worked with to go to calm. So let's go through those and see which one works the best for you. To get started with the first one, have your settings correct the way you want them. And then we're going to hit the start button. And while the image moves, follow it with your eyes while keeping your head still. Okay. So let's do this and I'll walk you through it. So here we go. Also, I'm not going to have the sound on for this. Okay, while keeping your head still, following this with your eyes, remember to breathe, and then think about calming your mind down, and you want your body to relax, so tell your body to relax from your head, your neck, your shoulders, your back, your arms, your legs, your feet. Just nice and relaxed and come at ease. Keep your eyes moving. If you lose track, just catch up and continue and breathe. Now 
You should be getting more relaxed. Any areas of tension you should feel just kind of go away. And now it's stopped. That means we've gone the full duration. And my question to you is, how do you feel? Do you feel nice and relaxed? If you do, that's great. That, that means that this first method will work for you. And it's just basically telling yourself to relax as you have your eyes moving back and forth. Okay, now let's look at and try the second method for going to calm. So we're going to do the same thing again. This time for the second method, we're going to be thinking a little bit differently. What I'd like to do is, is when, is I want you to kind of think and picture in your mind a nice, safe place for you to be that's really peaceful and comfortable and relaxing. Um, here are some examples of places that you could be. Um, you could be on the beach, watching the waves ebb and flow, feeling the salty breeze, smelling it, and just relaxing. Another example could be that you're on a riverbank, watching the water run past you, seeing the whirls and the eddies and stuff float past. What about if you're sitting in your favorite spot watching the sunset or sunrise? And you're just sitting, you're watching, you're looking, you see the sun, you see the clouds drifting by, and it's just peaceful. Maybe there's a breeze. Another example might be that you're in a, inside a forest with tall trees and you hear the chirping birds in the background. You could be atop a mountain with a big, just a beautiful panoramic view of the landscape and the cool breeze blowing and you're looking at all the trees and stuff around. You could be on the edge of a lake surrounded by nature with the sun shining and the sounds of lapping water. You could be in a hot bath with soft music playing and candlelight, just feeling relaxed and soothed. You get the idea. We really want you to draw up a, a nice safe spot for you to be able to go to calm and be able to get to that relaxed moment. So I want you to think of one of those, one of those places that you can be to be calm and we're going to try to go there. So I'm going to press the start now and, and I'll try to tell you when to think through it and see what happens. So let's start. Okay, your eyes should be moving left to right. You should be situated, feeling calm. Think of that place that you want to be, one of those that I described or one that you make it yourself. You're sitting there in that moment. Keep your eyes moving. Breathe. Breathe. You should be relaxed and calm. Okay, take a breath, and how do you feel? Was this more calming than the first one? If it was, great. If not, that's okay. Now, if one of these methods, or both of these methods, worked for you, and you were able to actually get calm, and right now you're relaxed and calm, then that means that you are absolutely a great, a, a, in a great place that EMDR could help you and benefit you and work. If you were not able to get to that calm state of mind and, and physically relaxed, 
then then it means that there's other issues that you may need help with uh, to get to that calm place. And I would highly recommend that you go ahead and, and see a therapist or somebody that might be able to help you and talk to you through what's happening for that. Now, now you're ready to continue to, to other processes that I have to help you with would stop nail biting or stop biting the inside of your mouth or your lips. Um, and you're welcome to try some of those things. And they've been things that have worked for my family and myself. And uh, it's just incredible stuff. Um, as far as, as far as going to calm, wouldn't it be nice if you could go to calm instantly like if you could tell yourself something and get that relax and take a breath type of a moment well let's go ahead and try to get that to happen what i want you to do is is become ready in your position for being relaxed and your eyes are ready on the screen and the way this will work is whenever you're in a situation and you need to just be able to stop what's going on for a second and take a breath per se, you can just say a word to yourself in your head and actually have this take place. Your body will actually do what your brain is telling it to do based off of what we're doing here now with setting this up. And I've used this for different situations from being in in traffic, driving, and somebody cuts me off and gets me upset, and I just tell myself to, to chill out, and, and I'm able to keep driving and focus on what I'm doing without any issue, but I can take a breath, and my body relaxes, and I'm no longer focused on the issue of this person cutting me off, getting me upset. Um, or I could be at work, and something happens where an individual says something to me or something's just not working right and I'm getting frustrated and I need to be able to take a breath, I can use that. Another place is sometimes if I'm getting ready to try to go to sleep at night and, and I need to, to settle myself down quickly, I can use this as well. So really nice to be able to have this as a, as a tool in your toolbox to help yourself out. So let's go ahead and try it. First, pick which method from before worked best for you. Either the one, the first method, which we just, you just tell yourself to settle your body to get to a calm, relaxed state. Or the second method where you have kind of a mental narrative or a story that you're thinking through in your head of that place that you're sitting at at the beach or what have you. So pick one of those first. Okay, so got that picked. The next thing is I want you to pick a word to use that you will tell yourself. Personally, I use the word chill out. If I ever tell myself in my head to chill out, it causes me instantly to be able to relax and take a breath and slow down enough to focus on whatever I need to at the moment. Awesome stuff. You need to pick a word that'll work for you. Some other people I've worked with, some people use the word chill by itself. Uh, one person tells themselves to just relax. Another person says calm. One person has this word that's incredible. It's, he tells himself to be satiated. Another person says to ease up. Um, then there's someone that tells himself to take it easy. Uh, here's a good one. Let go. And then another one is take a breather. The truth is it's yours. This is personal. You need your own word. Uh, maybe write this down, whatever the word is you want to use. It does not have to be any of the words I picked. It's your own phrase that will tell yourself to go to calm.
Okay, we're going to get the image moving, and as the image moves, you're going to follow it with your eyes, keep your head still, and you're going to keep in your mind and think of the method that allows you that when you tell yourself to go to calm. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, have your eyes moving. Start to relax and tell yourself to through that method whether you're going to your safe place that's the story one or just telling your body in sections to to go to calm and relax tell yourself while your eyes are moving breathe tell yourself whenever you tell yourself the word and say the word in your head right now whenever you tell yourself this word your body will immediately go to calm and you'll be able to take a breath and you'll be focused on whatever you need to do and be able to continue with what you need to do. Okay. So let's try that one more time and I want you to repeat what we just did, but I'm not going to talk this time. I'm just going to let you follow the, the movements on the screen. How do you feel? You should be nice and relaxed, calm, your mind should be at ease. And now you have that word that you can tell yourself anytime you want. So if you'd like to see if this worked, what you can do is, is you can actually try Try right now, just just for fun. Think of a situation where where you've been frustrated. Let's say that you're you're in your house and you're trying to watch a TV show, and people keep coming to the door and knocking, and they're interrupting you watching your TV show and enjoying it. You're starting to get frustrated, and maybe you're you're in the kitchen and you're taking something to the trash can you open up the trash to put something in and it's over full and nobody's taking out the trash do you feel a little heightened right now is it getting a little tense now in your mind tell yourself that word did you feel yourself go to go to calm were you able to take a breath Super neat stuff. Okay, well, you are ready now to go ahead and try out some other methods available for processing.